You've probably know that meditation and having a morning routine can both be quite beneficial to your mental and physical health. These daily Buddhism habits to start your morning can help you begin the day on the right foot and ensure that you stay tuned into the main Buddhism principles. Number one, take a deep breath and show some gratitude in the gentle embrace of the morning as the world awakens. So should your spirit begin your day with a conscious inhalation, letting the breath fill your lungs and invigorate your being. This simple act often overlooked in the rush of modern life is a cornerstone of Buddhist teachings, a reminder to be present and appreciate the gift of each breath in the realm of Buddhist. Philosophy mindfulness is the key to unlocking the door to a harmonious life. I taking a moment to breathe deeply you ground yourself in the present shedding the burdens of yesterday and the uncertainties of tomorrow in that quiet. Inhale find gratitude for the new day, for the opportunity to make choices that align with your true self as you breathe. Out release any tension or negativity. Lingering within the act of exhaling becomes a conscious release a letting go of the things that no longer serve you. In this sacred pause between breaths set an intention for the day something positive that will guide your actions and thoughts number two make your bed a seemingly mundane task making your bed becomes a profound practice in the buddhist morning routine in the simplicity of this act lies a lesson in discipline and order two qualities highly valued in buddhist teachings as you smooth the sheets and plump the pillows recognize the symbolism making your bed is an assertion of control over your immediate environment, it is a declaration that regardless of the chaos that may exist outside, you have the power to, to create order within your personal space. The Buddha spoke of the importance of cultivating a disciplined mind. Making your bed becomes a metaphor for this as the external order mirrors. The internal it sets a tone for the day, a foundation of stability upon which you can build your spiritual practice number. 3. Drink two glasses of water in the quiet moments before the world fully stirs. Nourish your body and soul with the simplest elixir water. The act of drinking two glasses of water is not merely a physical necessity. It is a ritual that echoes the Buddhist understanding of interconnectedness water. The source of life becomes a symbol of purification as it flows through your body and vision it cleansing not only your physical form, but also your thoughts and emotions. In Buddhism, the concept of purity extends beyond the tangible reaching into the recesses of the mind by drinking water. Consciously, you acknowledge the interconnectedness of all things. Your body, a microcosm of the universe, is in constant exchange with the world around it as the water quenches your thirst. Let it serve as a reminder to nourish your spirit to seek the purest sources of wisdom and compassion number four chanting and meditation as the world begins to stir find a quiet space for the practice of chanting and meditation Asian in the Buddhist morning routine this is not merely a ritual it is a gateway to inner peace and self-discovery chanting with its melodic resonance creates vibrations that ripple through your being the ancient mattress often derived from Buddhist scriptures carry a spiritual potency that transcends the boundaries of language as you chant feel the vibrations resonate within aligning your energy with the universal rhythm meditation. Meditation the cornerstone of Buddhist practice is a journey inward in the stillness of your mind discover the essence of your true self the Buddha spoke of the mind as a wild elephant that can be tamed through mindfulness in meditation you learn to guide the wandering mind back to the present moment cultivating a profound sense of inner peace number five go for a walk under the gentle embrace of the morning sun step outside and embark on a mindful walk in buddhism walking meditation is a revered practice, a harmonious marriage of movement and mindfulness as your feet make contact with the earth be present. In each step feel the ground beneath you, the subtle shifts in weight 
and the rhythm of your breath in this simple act of walking you attune yourself to the cadence of life, recognizing that each step is a journey in itself the Buddha often emphasize the importance of mindful living walking becomes a metaphor for this journey a reminder that life is a series of steps each one an opportunity to be fully present whether on a bustling city street or a serene nature path let your walk be a meditation a communion with the world around you number six do an act of generosity in the tapestry of buddhist teachings Generosity is a thread that weaves through the fabric of a compassionate life. As the morning unfolds, sees the opportunity to perform an act of generosity. Generosity in the Buddhist context extends beyond material offerings. It is a mindset, a way of being that recognizes the interconnectedness of all beings. The Buddha spoke of the joy that arises from giving without attachment, a joy that transcends the act. Itself your act of generosity can be as simple as a kind word, a genuine smile, or a helping hand. In the spirit of selflessness, allow your actions to ripple through the interconnected web of existence creating a positive impact on the world around. You number seven do chores engage in the mundane tasks of daily life with a mindful presence in the Buddhist morning. Routine chores become a meditation in action, a practice in cultivating mindfulness amidst the ordinary as you sweep the floor, wash the dishes, or tend to household tasks. Let your awareness period each action. The Buddha spoke of the importance of mindfulness in every aspect of life, whether in seated meditation or the most routine activities, chores become a canvas upon which you paint the strokes of mindfulness, feel the texture of the broom in your hands, the warmth of the water as you wash, and the satisfaction of completing each task with a focused mind in these seemingly ordinary moments. Discover the extra extraordinary beauty of being fully present number eight. Limit your dinner as the day unfolds, the wisdom of the Buddha guides you to be Mindful of your nourishment in the evening when the sun begins its descent. Practice the art of moderation by limiting your dinner Buddhist teachings. Often emphasize the middle path, the balance between indulgence and asceticism in limiting your dinner you. Embrace this middle path recognizing the true nourishment comes from a harmonious relationship with food the Buddhist. Spoke of mindful eating savoring each. Bite with gratitude and awareness by limiting your dinner. You not only cultivate a healthier body, but also a clearer mind. The act of restraint becomes a practice in self-discipline. Reminder that true satisfaction arises from contentment with what is rather than an insatiable appetite for more in the symphony of the Buddhist morning. Routine each note plays a crucial role in orchestrating a harmonious day as you Breathe, make your bed, drink water, chant. Walk, give, and engage in daily tasks with. Mindfulness, remember that these are not isolated practices, but interconnected. Threads in the tapestry of a purposeful and awakened life, the teachings of Buddhism are not confined to temples or scriptures. They unfold in the canvas of your daily existence, guiding you towards a life of wisdom, compassion, and inner. Peace number nine, reflect on. Impermanence as the day progresses take a moment to reflect on the Buddhist concept of impermanence. This foundational principle teaches us that all things are in a constant state of flux and clinging to the transient leads to suffering in the quiet moments of reflection. Observe the impermanence in your own life. Consider the ever-changing nature of emotions, relationships, and circumstances. The joyous moments like the morning sun Rise and set the challenges like passing. Storms come and go in understanding. Impermanence, you cultivate a resilience that allows you to gracefully navigate the e and flow of existence. The Buddha likened life to a river flowing ceaselessly. Embrace the impermanence of each moment for undoing. So you release the grip of attachment and open yourself to the beauty of the present. Let this reflection guide you in 
responding to life's unfolding events. With equanimity and wisdom number 10, cultivate compassion through loving. Kindness meditation as the day matures. Delve into the profound practice of loving kindness meditation this. Transformative meditation aims to cultivate boundless love and compassion. For oneself and all beings, find a quiet space, settle into a comfortable position, and close your eyes begin by directing thoughts of love and well-being towards yourself in the stillness, feel the warmth of self-compassion enveloping. Your being the Buddha emphasized the importance of self-love as the foundation for extending compassion to others gradually expand the circle of loving kindness to include loved ones, acquaintances, and even those with whom you may have conflicts in each iteration, wish for their happiness, peace, and freedom from suffering. The practice of metta is a powerful antidote to negative emotions, fostering a heart that is open, empathetic, and resilient. Number 11. Embrace mindful communication in the afternoon hours. When the sun is at its scent, turn your attention to the way you communicate. Buddhism places great importance on right speech, one of the components of the Noble Eightfold Path. Embrace the art of mindful communication to cultivate harmony in your realm. Relationships before speaking pause and consider the intention behind your words. Are they truthful, kind, and beneficial? The Buddha advised that words can be a source of great harm or great healing. Mindful communication involves speaking with awareness choosing words that uplift rather than divide in your interactions. Listen attentively without judgment or preconceived notions engage in conversations with presence and empathy fostering connections that are grounded in mutual understanding by embracing mindful communication, you contribute to a world where words become instruments of healing and connection. Number 12. Practice gratitude before. Sleep is the day winds down before. Surrendering to the embrace of sleep. Engage in a final ritual of gratitude. The practice of gratitude is a cornerstone of Buddhist teachings, reminding us to appreciate the abundance present in our lives. Reflect on the events of the day, acknowledging the moments of joy, the lessons learned, and the connections. Forge the act of expressing gratitude. Shifts your focus from what may be lacking to the richness of the present. Moment in doing so, you cultivate a heart that is open and receptive to the beauty Inherent in each day, the Buddha often spoke of the transformative power of gratitude likening it to a balm that soothes the wounds of discontent, and as you express gratitude, let it be a genuine acknowledgement of the interconnectedness of all things in this final act of the day allow gratitude to be the bridge that connects you to a peaceful night's rest number 13, the art of reflection as you lie in the quietude of the night before drifting into dreams engage in the art of reflection this practice deeply rooted in buddhist philosophy invites you to review your actions thoughts thoughts and emotions throughout the day reflect on moments of mindfulness and instances where you may have strayed from the path of awareness without judgment observe the tapestry of your day the vibrant threads of joy the subtle hues of challenges and the intricate patterns woven by your interactions the Buddha encourage introspection as a means of cultivating self-awareness, a tool for personal growth and transformation in the stillness. Acknowledge the imperfections and celebrate the victories. This practice of nightly reflection becomes a compass, guiding you towards a more intentional and conscious way of living through Self-awareness, you lay the foundation for continuous evolution on your spiritual journey. Number 14, the dance of equinity as the moon casts its gentle glow. Immerse yourself in the dance of equinity in Buddhism. Equinity is the art of maintaining, maintaining balance. Amidst the changing tides of life, it is the steady heart that remains unruffled by the winds of joy and sorrow as you Reflect on the day, observe the moments, 
where equanimity was your companion, and the instances where it eluded you, the Buddha spoke of the importance of cultivating a mind that remains poised. In the face of life's fluctuations, equanimity does not mean indifference, rather, it is a profound acceptance of the present moment. Embracing it with an open heart in your reflections, seek to understand the nature of attachment and aversion. Equinity arises when you untangle yourself from the web of clinging to pleasure and resisting discomfort. Let each day be a dance, a rhythm of acceptance and release and may equanimity be the guiding melody that accompanies you through the night number. 15. The wisdom of surrender as you Surrender to the embrace of sleep. Contemplate the wisdom of surrender in the Buddhist context. Surrender here is not about resignation, but a profound. Letting go a release of the illusion of control the Buddha in his teachings. Spoke of the futility of clinging to a fixed identity and the impermanence of all things as you lay down the burdens of the day practice. Surrendering the need for certainty and control trust in the unfolding of life. Recognizing that. Resistance only deepens suffering. In surrender find freedom, a release from the incessant striving, and a surrender to the natural flow of existence. This nightly surrender becomes a gateway to peace let go of the worries, anxieties, and expectations in the vast expanse of surrender discover the quietude that resides at the core of your being may your sleep be a sanctuary of tranquility and may each surrender be a step towards liberation in this Buddhist teachings. The morning routine serves as a portal, a daily invitation to embark on the lifelong journey of self-discovery and awakening the practices woven together. Create a mosaic of mindfulness, compassion and wisdom as you navigate. Each day, guided by the principles of Buddhism, remember that the path is not it. A destination but a continuous unfolding. The teachings of the Buddha are not confined to the morning hours. They permed every breath, every step, and every interaction. May your mornings be a sacred canvas painted with the brush. Strokes of intention and presence may your days be a symphony resonating with the melodies of compassion and wisdom. And as you retire into the gentle embrace of the night, may your Reflections be a lantern illuminating the path towards a life rich in meaning and purpose. The morning routine, a microcosm of this profound journey, is an offering to the spirit a reminder that each day is an opportunity to awaken to the beauty of the present moment.